Hi everyone, Lewis here. Welcome to one more weekly Blender add-on review. Uh, this is sponsored by Blender Nation, the best site for getting weekly and also daily Blender news. So today I have this add-on called Asset Creation Toolset made by Ivan Volterskov, the same developer that brought us Texel Density Checker, a add-on that you can check on previous videos of mine. I think I reviewed it um, probably two months ago. Well, time passes. Well, anyway, before I enter into that, I want to respond uh, lots of questions I have been getting with less videos uh, by Maxivs. Lots of users have been asking me, Louis, how can you get that same functionality that we reviewed uh, last week uh, without uh, even add-on? Well, there's a, a tool called Checker Deselect. And this, for those of you that don't know yet, uh, actually lets you have intercalating selections. So, but, but this is actually better because it's, it has, uh, you can set the distance here. So you have, um, you can even set to three steps if you want. And you also have a offset, so you can rotate it. Also a skip section to control that. So really interesting, really interesting. Uh, comes with Blender Vanilla 2.8. It's for everyone. So let's start it. So basically what we have here is five different tabs for specific tasks related to game development. Uh, he created, even Voltuskov, the developer, he created low poly art tools for people interested, uh, let's say, in, in saving uh, simple materials with the, the assets in creating Atlas. Now, I'll not be digging into that. Uh, I don't think it's the uh, it's the, the focus on, on the channel, but uh, I'm really impressed with the import and export tools. I think this is the the most important thing about this add-on is that you can import multiple OBJs or multiple FBXs to Blender, something that Vanilla Blender doesn't have, and I don't know why, you know, uh, but basically you can select multiple models and import them uh, at the same time uh, with the same context. So yeah, really basic stuff, I know, really sad that Blender doesn't have that by default, uh, but anyway, uh, the export settings now, it's a whole different thing because when you, in the past, what we use it to do is select your object. So let's select random on here, uh, go to file, export, FBX, right? And now here on the bottom left corner of the screen, we have this kind of uh, crazy different uh, tools that we have to set up, such as Y being the up, uh, and X being, being the other side or Z minus being the forward because like uh, the coordinates in Unity are not the same coordinates uh, that Blender uses. So it has that confusion. So Z, for example, in Unity uh, is original and the Z vector in, in Blender on the other side is actually up. So... Uh, yeah, I know, really, really crazy stuff. So this add-on uh, does that by default. Uh, it converts everything that you need to your the proportional editing inside of Blender for let's say, if you actually apply the scale, you can apply the rotation, something that you can do by default, pressing Shift A or no, Control A, yeah. Um, yeah, this is the default thing you can do in Blender to apply scale apply transforms, right? This add-on actually brings that here. And it has a cool feature, which I think is, this is the, the coolest feature of the add-on, which is export path. You can define a path on your Unity project. Let's say you create a new project and everything that you export to this path will automatically be saved. So you can, uh, without a hassle, have your assets almost like, uh, synchronizing with your Blender file and your Unity file. So let's test that. Uh, let's uh, select Gilmo here. You can also have this option called custom name. So let's add a custom name. Here is already Gilmo. And let's hit export FPX to Unity. And let's see the magic. 
Well, voila, here we have Gilmon uh, directly exported. So if we drag Gilmon to the outliner, hierarchy actually, uh, we have here uh, on Unity. Now this is FBX, so of course it doesn't come with the with the textures applied, which which is a shame. Uh, I hope with GLTF by the Kronos Group can facilitate that on the future. But anyway, um, one more thing. So let's go back again. Let's now select random on here rename it and export her to Unity as well. And here we have her again. Uh, notice that it, it's not coming with the, with the one proportional here. It has a different proportion. Even if I have checked apply scale, I don't know why. Uh, and also it's uh, actually coming with the word origin of Blender. So you can see Randomo, it's right beside him uh, on the viewport and she came right on the same position that we had on Blender. So this is really interesting, really uh, interesting add-on if you want to, uh, if you work with Unity, of course. Another option we have here is renaming tools so we can set uh, multiple UV indexing here, something that we already can do by with Vanilla Blender. So yeah, uh, rename UVs. So we have, uh, we can also select post prefixes and post fixes of the naming uh, when it exports. Uh, numbering objects. Okay, so naming definitions basically. And we also have some origin tools. So if you want to play around with the origin of your, your mesh. Of course, th those are characters, but if you work with environment, probably you have multiple props that you can define and set different uh, uh, positions to your origin. Something that it's also really uh, um, available with vanilla blender here in object set origin. So um, yeah, it's more like a, a, a UX stuff. But yeah, I would give this add-on a five out of 10. It's free, you can try it, see if you like it uh, at least. Uh, I think it's uh, really good at least for multiple importing OBJs if you're into that and exporting to Unity. I think this is the, the great thing about this add-on. But I really think uh, we can have some improvements here. I know that we have the same developer from Text Tools. Uh, he made a FBX bundle add-on as well. Uh, therefore, he didn't port it to 2.8 yet, so I'll be waiting for that to happen. But until there, uh, this is what we have. So that's it, guys. Uh, really simple add-on, but uh, it's free. Try it, and until next time.